bless the Lord, brothers and sisters. So happy to be back in again. I thank God for you tuning in. I'm going to try to get this all within 15 minutes. It's a lot of information I want to give you today. 10 different reasons why your miscarriage could have possibly happened. Okay, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a physician. I'm not edging this in stone. I'm just saying something that you should consider other than the obvious as to why you possibly had a miscarriage. Me specifically, I've had three. Okay, so I can talk about this subject very freely. It was a very uh, terrible time in my life with me and my husband and my children at the time, knowing that their brother or their sister uh, potentially passed away uh, by way of miscarriage. So I want to talk about this. I want to also say, though, if there's any nutballs out there, okay, that think that just because uh, the baby was so small in your, your womb, it's insignificant it's irrelevant it's not even a baby yet if you if any psychopaths out there um you could tune off right now because mentally and spiritually you're not even there yet you're not even (laughs) up to speed so you need to go in your room and pray okay get your mind right and then tune back in because there's a lot of haters out there and i'm going to talk about the haters too so put on your seat belts open your heart and mind to this information it will help you i'm sure it will i needed answers i even asked my pastor years ago as to why this possibly was reoccurring and he basically was giving me kind of like a mumbo jumbo type of uh answer to be quite honest with you that didn't really help me. (laughs) So I had to personally do some research spiritually, fundamentally, and I pray, okay, that this information can bless you and let you think about the next time you're trying to conceive with your spouse, hopefully your spouse, okay, not some random dude that you are in a covenant with marriage when you are trying to get pregnant. Okay, I have to put that out there that you have the tools Before you even get started on being parents. Okay. Now, number one, let's get started. Okay. And also, ooh, let me just let you know, um, the other video that I'm going to have after this, because it's not going to be enough time. I'm going to be praying. I'm going to be doing spiritual warfare prayers against, uh, miscarriage. Okay. All right. Oh yeah. I'm not playing. All right. Let's get started. Number one, the number one reason why you should consider why this possibly have happened is because of witch activity. And when I say witch activity, I mean literal witches. There are witches online. There are witches on YouTube that are literally giving people information as to how to cast spells so that women can literally have miscarriages. You don't believe me? I don't want you to look it up, book it up, to be honest with you, but it blew my mind. That there's literally witches out there that are working for the devil, okay? That are giving people step-by-step witchcraft, uh, potions and lotions and whatever, commotions to do this, okay? So number one is witches. Number two is witchcraft activity. Meaning that if there's any witches or witchcraft activity in your family, maybe, there could be aunts that were dabbling into things that were hating on this person, didn't want this person to have a baby, jealous, whatever the, whatever the case is. Listen, brothers and sisters, you have to realize that everybody who hears the news about you being pregnant is not for you. Okay. There's some family members that are hating you so much that are jealous of you so much. There's, there could be old spouses, old boyfriends, old relationships that you had, okay, that doesn't want you to be happy in a new relationship or whatever the case is, that could be culprits in conjuring up witchcraft and casting spells on you and your potential child. Number two, okay, Satan himself. Now, Satan himself, okay, we know that he does not approve of life. He does not want you to produce. Okay. We know that that's common sense. So Satan himself could be hating so much that he's doing anything in the book. Okay. A slip and fall accident. I remember when I was pregnant, hear me when I was pregnant with my first child, she's going to be 21. Okay. 
When I was pregnant with her, there was ice on the ground and I almost slipped and fell. And I was out there. I was almost eight months pregnant. Okay. Satan would allow you or to try to uh, come up with freak accidents. People, you know, get into car accidents, whatever the case is. Satan will try to devise ways for you to lose your child or for miscarriages to happen. Okay. The next one, incubus and succubus dreams. I want to talk about that as well. If you have a lot of incubus dreams, and I've said this before in a previous message in a previous video. If you have an incubus dream a lot and you do not cast those images down or those dreams down, you don't renounce it. You just go on with your day and you are pregnant. There is a possibility that as you are having sex while you are pregnant. okay, And it's happened to me. One of the miscarriages that I had, I was pregnant and I had a dream. Okay, of a demon sticking a knife in my stomach. And then I found out maybe a week, week and a half later that I miscarried. So these are serious, brothers and sisters. You have to make sure that your dreams are intact. And if you have any scary or wicked type of dreams that have to do with sex or you drinking or deposited anything in your system as you're pregnant, you have to watch out for that as well. Okay. The next one, haters, haters online, haters at your workplace, neighbors that are haters. Like I said, there's haters all around the world. There's, there's a lot of people though, that don't realize you make videos about you being pregnant and you don't realize that there's demons and witches and haters that are literally plotting against that pregnancy. But you, you think it, everything's fine. Oh, let me just tell YouTube about the fact that I'm pregnant. Let me just post Instagram pictures of me being pregnant. And the next week you find out you lose your child. Why? Because everybody's not for you, brothers and sisters. Everybody is not for you. These days, you literally got to have the child and then say, okay, well, you know, if you want to share, share it with those that, you know, have your back. But these days you have to realize this world is wicked, wicked. The next one, y'all. Uh, previous abortions. I had a previous abortion. Okay. Personally, for me, I know that there's more than one reason why I had my miscarriages now. At the time when I was having my miscarriages, I didn't know why it was happening. But I tell you what, two or three of these um, things that I'm listing I got confirmation as to, okay, that, oh, that was why. Okay. So like I said, previous abortions, if you had any previous abortions, okay, that could be the culprit as to why, because you shed innocent blood. Next one, the spirit of rejection. You just found out you got pregnant, right? You just found out you got pregnant, but innately you really didn't want to get pregnant. So that spirit of rejection is right there. You planted that seed of rejection. In other words, you did not want that child. Okay. You didn't want that child from the, from from the, from the giddy up, but you just decided to have the child. Okay. So now you three, four months in. Okay. Hopefully not four months, but some, some women miscarried four months. You three, four, two, three, four months in and wind up you have a miscarriage because you had that spirit of rejection. You didn't want that child. Okay, so you got to be careful in what you say and what you do. Listen, you could have been 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, you know what I mean, prior to you getting pregnant. Okay, Um, six years old. I'm not saying you're uh, pregnant at six years old, but I'm saying the words that you said back then. Oh, I don't want to have no kids. Oh, I don't like babies. Oh, babies. I don't want I don't ever want to be pregnant. Words are powerful or you could be at a party or whatever the case is or not saved or whatever. And somebody said, well, how many kids do you think you're going to have? Oh, I'm not going to have none. Oh, I hate being pregnant. So you're speaking all this, okay, out in the, in the world. Okay. And then when it's time for you to get pregnant, it doesn't happen because the words that you spoke, spoke death instead of life. Okay. The next one, health issues. You just downright have health issues. You could have probably taken, uh, 
pills, okay? What, what do you call them pills that the girls take? And I and I hardly ever took those. I think I took it maybe once or twice, but then after that, I never ever took them again. Um, pregnancy pills. What do you call that? See, I don't even know. Birth control. See, I don't even know. Um, birth control pills. If you've taken birth control pills, listen to what it says. Birth control. You're controlling the birth. Listen, if you take birth control pills, that's that's one of the reasons why I'm telling you the truth. God is against that. Listen, that's just like condoms. That's another video, but th there's some deep ramification behind condoms and why Satan designed people to make condoms okay oh man that's way too deep i think i'm gonna make just a whole video on condoms and how god is against condoms yes condoms i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do that video i've never done it before stay tuned for that video um but yes health issues or pills things of that nature that you took in, a, in the past that could have been a culprit um, masturbation. That's the next one. You were heavy masturbating. You were b masturbating back in the days. You stopped for a little while. You, you caught up with it. You just masturbation porn, any type of sexual perversion or sin in your life or in the past that you have not yet renounced and ask God to forgive you for that could have been a culprit. The next one, multiple partners or promiscuity or same sex. Back in the days, you know what I mean? You in the lunchroom, you or you or you in the high school bathroom and you being curious, you know, with girls, whatever the case is, or you just having sex young, you having uh, a lesbian sex or gay sex um, with, the, uh, you know, just 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 girls having obviously lesbian sex. Um, just just sick stuff that you have had in the past that you have not been delivered from. That could have been a culprit. Next one. Incest. Incest could have been a culprit, could have been a culprit. Check out your history. See what's going on with that. Next one. Generational curses. Absolutely. What am I talking about? How could that be? Once um, saved, always says I'm saved. I'm delivered. I'm set free. Um, Christ became a curse for me. I is no really, really. Okay. So explain this to me. If you don't believe in generational curses, explain this one for me. Your auntie got cancer. Your cousin got cancer. Your nephew got cancer. Your grandfather had cancer. Huh? You don't, you don't, but you, and then your great grandmother and great friend, grandfather was a witch and a wizard. And it's all types of sick racism, unforgiveness, and all types of generational curses, a cesspool of crazy mint in your, in your uh, family history. I believe in generational curses. Absolutely. But I also believe, huh? That they could be cast down and you could be delivered. But yeah, generational curses that are left unchecked, that you don't ask for forgiveness for and do warfare against, can be a huge culprit behind miscarriage. You know why? I mean, your, your auntie got a miscarriage. Your grandmother had miscarriages. Your mother had miscarriages. Your sister had miscarriages. Your niece had miscarriages. All in one family? And you had about five or six miscarriages? Your aunt had about five, six, seven abortions? Come on now, let's get real. Okay, let's dig deep. It's not just by happenstance, ladies, that you're out there year after year. I heard Gabrielle Union, the actress, she had nine miscarriages. Nine. Oh, it's just by happenstance? It's just by happenstance, right? No. It's something behind this, brothers and sisters. And listen, if you don't do your due diligence and pray against it and war against this and do your inventory as to maybe just maybe there's something to this list, then you're kidding yourself. Bless the true living God.